The oil terminal at Schuss Aya handles the petrochemical products. Oslo Airport receives all of its fuel from this terminal. Here we see the ferry terminal for Denmark, the grain silos, the old fish market, the port authority, and the cruise ship terminal in front of the medieval castle. The old port facilities on the western side are being modernized to meet the demands of today's freight handling. These areas could become attractive for further city development, but first another location must be found for this important activity. Ferries to Germany and Denmark carry two and a half million travelers every year. The ferries also carry a great number of trailers, both to and from Oslo. A considerable amount of goods is also carried by so-called roll-on, roll-off ships. There's 1,000 years of unbroken history behind the modern sea freight handling in the port of Oslo. The quay and the square in front of the town hall play an important role in the life of the capital and are the nucleus of many activities. The annual seafood festival with its many delicacies contributes to the party atmosphere for both locals and tourists. Charter trips on the fjord are also a popular attraction. The magnificent old port warehouse, which was built in 1918, is now used as offices. The old shipyard Nilon Mechanical Workshops used to lie here, and now this is the site chosen for Oslo's new opera house. Foreign naval vessels are welcomed and are popular attractions when they invite visitors to open ship. The royal yacht Norge has its winter moorings by the Port Authority's building, close to Akasu's castle. When the spring sun begins to warm and the snow disappears, other forms of life begin to appreciate the coastline. Oslo is blessed with short distances to woodland, fields and the sea, with exceptional conditions for outdoor activities both in summer and winter. You'll find beaches, islets and rocks both on the east and the west side of the city. During holiday periods, it can be quite congested, especially on Midsummer's Eve.
Every summer, more than 100 cruise ships visit Oslo. Shipping in the fjord and the docks is monitored by the Port Authority's control center. This reduces the risk of environmental accidents and ensures safety for shipping. The SS Norway, the largest cruise ship in the world, is an impressive sight in the fjord. as are these two representatives, each for their own century. Scandinavian Grand Prix for the world's largest and fastest racing boats is one of the most spectacular annual events in the port. The port also has a central role in the celebration of the National Day. The salute from the battlements of Akasu's castle is just as traditional as the day itself. After greeting the royal family at the palace, the children's procession ends here at the town hall square. The city and the port have grown alongside one another for a thousand years, and in this age of sea transport, with large capacity and environmental benefits, there is all reason to believe that this growth will continue for many years to come. Let the celebrations of the 700-year jubilee of Akasu's fortress and the thousand years of Oslo symbolize the interdependence of the city and port of Oslo.